Hi guys, I'm Norana. So tonight I'll be telling you about a ghost story in Ishonomaki, Japan after it's been struck by this bad tsunami while I remove my makeup and do my skincare routine. Let's go! I'm gonna remove my magnetic eyelashes. Change into my pajamas and tie up my hair. Be right back. Uh, on 11 of March 2011, a uh, 9.1 magnitude earthquake has struck in Japan. The earthquake actually triggered several tsunami waves throughout the Japan. It killed over 15,000 people. One of the municipalities in Japan that was badly struck by this uh, tsunami is actually Ishinomaki. Almost half of this um, city was really badly struck by this tsunami. So ever since then, <laughs> it's fine. I've been using the Alia Skin Forming Micilla Cleanser. Okay, so like um, since the disaster, many residents of Ishinomaki actually stated that um, they start seeing strange and unexplained phenomena. Next, I'm going to use the Radiant Glow Mask by Organic Portions. And during those times, right, um, like they've been hearing voices, like, you know, like on the street, they are seeing people that are not even there anymore. So he said that even like some of the spirits uh, or the dead, they don't even know that they already passed away. So on the day of the disaster, it was believed that the school children was trying to evacuate the school. Just five minutes after the earthquake hit, the children had been successfully evacuated from the building. They were actually in the playground and lined up in class wearing their hard plastic helmets normally stored in their lockers. So basically like in Japan, probably they are all prepared for this natural disaster that hit them quite frequently. However, when the tsunami came, unfortunately, the kids actually stayed where they were. It is not clear why they didn't climb to the safe ground of the hill directly behind the school. The kids actually suggested to climb over towards the hill. But he said that some local men said that the tsunami would not hit them. It's just an earthquake and you know, because it's like, doesn't mean that when there's an earthquake, there's gonna be tsunami, right? To make the story short, Actually, the tsunami hit the school. It was like as high as 50 meters. Okay, so when some of the older students like realized what's happening, so they tried to go towards the you know the higher higher side of the hill and make a dash for the hill. Um, despite that, most of them was caught up by the rushing flood. Four of them survived, and they were the one who tell this story to us. Some taxi drivers was like sharing the story and it was actually uh, featured in Netflix under the Unsolved Mystery. It was said that actually um, like the they picked up like some passengers and they were told to go to these places where the tsunami hit. And when they went there, it's like, you know, it's an isolated place, like nobody was there, no business going on. And like uh, they were asked like, are you sure this is where you want to go? Suddenly when he turned back, He's, she's not there anymore or he's not there anymore some of them like um they can hear like the passenger murmur to themselves like am i really dead uh stories about the mom already passed away he felt like as if the mom came home and like you know like they cook for the family like as if that you know they can't take it like they can't accept that they already passed away so they come back to their home and act as if they're still uh, still alive there was this mother, a young mother, who actually like, um, according to her, she saw like her toddler's son, boy, was always light, lighted up as if he's still alive, as if he's playing the toy, but he's of not course. there anymore. So, is it some kind of guilt feeling? Is it a post-traumatic uh, stress disorder? Or was it really the spirit of this toddler that came back? Of course, not all the spirits are kind. There are, you know, like some um, souls or spirits that was, they can't accept the death. I, I think my uh, mud mask had dried up. 
Normally, I use this uh, pure argan oil by Organic Potions, but the Brilliance Organic Fashion Facial Oil. Okay, actually, this particular oil, face oil, actually, it's a little bit interesting because not only that you have argan oil, they also have marula oil, jojoba oil, and lavender oil. Okay, uh, first time I hear about marula oil actually, let me google a little bit about it. Lots of marula oil, the oil extracted from the seeds and oil extracted from the nuts hard shell. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, it can be used in cosmetic, in food, as a cooking oil and as a meat preservative and to treat leather. Not like a normal facial oil, it's like so thick and... Okay, it says that uh, it doesn't have fragrance. It's fragrance-free, uh, synthetic dyes-free, petrochemicals-free, and you know, parabens-free. One thing I like it, it smells so good. You know, like I feel like I'm at the Arab street, or you know, like when I'm in Jordan, you know, that kind of smell. So I'll just draw my fingers. Okay. It is really thick, like I show you. Let's see? A total of 217 square miles was flooded, which includes the destruction of the hospital, the school, businesses, homes, railways, just name it. And perhaps the most devastating part, the tsunami actually caused the failure in the cooling system in the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, leading to a very infamous meltdown. There was this one story about a ghost of an old woman is said to haunt a refugee home and to, she's believed to have said that she would regularly sit down for a cup of tea there and they will purposely keep a space uh, for her like uh, she'll be sitting there and by the time she finished like the cushion would be soaked with seawater according to the Japanese right like um, they believe that this tsunami had actually uh, like uh, take away life of people that who was not really ready to die so in that way it left the restless uh, spirits still wanders at the plane of reality like they can't accept their death so they are neither here nor there like um they acted like they're still alive but at the same time like normal human can't really relate to them or see them if some people like those local folks what they do is like they just try to uh, like um do some ritual so that you know they can help out with all those restless souls so that they can find a peace and move on to the other side so you guys okay do you like my story would you be traveling would you dare to travel to these places rather than going for shopping like um to the beach would you dare to go to all these unknown places where the spirits are still uh, around you lingering around you so with this story i would like to end with my favorite quote be healthy, be happy, and most importantly, stay safe. Bye. Good night.